Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss conditional and biconditional statements and we will also discuss the inverse, converse and contrapositive of conditional statements. Let us start with the definition of conditional statements. The statements which are written in if-then form are called conditional statements. If P and Q are two given statements, then conditional statement will be written in the form if P then Q. A conditional statement has two parts, hypothesis and conclusion. The clause followed by if is called the hypothesis and the clause followed by then is called the conclusion. The conditional statement is denoted by or and is read as P implies Q. For example, we have a statement an angle whose measure is less than 90 degree is an acute angle. Let us rewrite this equation in the if-then form. If the measure of an angle is less than 90 degree then it is an acute angle here the hypothesis is the measure of an angle is less than 90 degree. And the conclusion is it is an acute angle. Now let us find the truth value of the conditional statement. In the conditional statement if P then Q, P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. So here, if P is true and Q is false, then P implies Q is false. If P is false, Q is true then P implies Q is true. If P is true, Q is true, then P implies Q is also true. And if P is false, Q is false, then P implies Q is also true. For a given conditional statement, we can write its inverse, its converse and contrapositive. Let us now discuss inverse of a conditional statement. If we negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion and rewrite it in the if-then form, then the new statement formed is called the inverse of conditional statement. The inverse of a conditional statement is denoted by not P implies not Q. Let us continue with the earlier example. If the measure of an angle is less than 90 degree, then it is an acute angle. Now we will write its inverse. As we know, to write the negation of a statement, we use the word not. 
so its inverse will be if the measure of an angle is not less than 90 degree then it is not an acute angle now let us discuss the converse of a conditional statement if we exchange the hypothesis and the conclusion in the if then statement then the new statement formed is called the converse of the conditional statement the converse of a conditional statement is denoted by q implies p for example the converse of the conditional statement if the measure of an angle is less than 90 degree then it is an acute angle is given by if an angle is acute then its measure is less than 90 degree now let us discuss the contrapositive of a conditional statement if we negate both the hypothesis and the conclusion of the converse of the conditional statement and rewrite in the if then form then the new statement so formed is called the contrapositive of the conditional statement the contrapositive of a conditional statement is denoted by not q implies not p we have the conditional statement if the measure of an angle is less than 90 degree then it is an acute angle the converse of this conditional statement is if an angle is acute then its measure will be less than 90 degree so its contrapositive will be if an angle is not acute then its measure will not be less than 90 degree. Now we come to biconditional statements. A biconditional statement is formed by joining the conditional statement and its converse using words if and only if. It is a conjunction of conditional statement P implies Q and its converse Q implies P. So it is denoted by P implies Q and Q implies P or we can simply write it as this or this which is read as P if and only if Q. We have the conditional statement, if the measure of an angle is less than 90 degree, then it is an acute angle. Its converse is, if an angle is acute, then its measure will be less than 90 degree. Now we write the biconditional statement using if and only if. An angle is an acute angle if and only if its measure is less than 90 degree if both conditional and converse statements are true then the biconditional statement is also true so the biconditional statement an angle is an acute angle if and only if its measure is less than 90 degree is a true statement with this we complete our session hope you enjoyed the session